Hey guys, just wanted to <clears throat> share a couple things with you. I watched your videos Sabrina sent to me and um, just kind of watching you guys you guys ride, a couple things that kind of stuck out to me that's gonna help you out a bunch. Um, whenever you guys get to roping cattle and, and handling your horses in kind of a different way. Um, one of them was uh, while you're roping, you have to remember um, a, a couple things. You gotta remember that you got your reins in the hand that you got your coils in, this one, and you're probably gonna be roping fairly far away sometimes, and you gotta be able to allow your coils to go, okay? So whenever I rope um, in practice, like on a dummy like this, I have, to, I have to really remember to keep my coils straight like this. And because I'm gonna have a handful of reins and a handful of coils. So like when I'm roping, I wanna make sure my coils are right here in front of me. I'm sitting square in my saddle, in my mind. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not pulling on his head. And then when I let go, I'm gonna make sure that coils can leave my hand, okay? And then I wanna be sure not to get my coils like this because if your coils are like this, they can't leak. They're gonna get wadded up. And, um, and so that's something really important. And the same way with coiling your ropes, you gotta remember you got reins in your hands again, so you gotta be kind of still with them and, and not jerking them around. And the other thing that I was seeing that I think will help you guys is um, whenever you're swinging on a green horse, like swinging your rope on a green horse or whatever, um, your horsemanship is always more important than roping the cattle. Maybe not every time, but you, you need to keep this in mind that when we're, especially when we're practicing, the horse's position and the horse's mindset is better than making the shot, is better than roping. So like when these horses, like if they're getting bothered by you swinging, just stop for a second, pet them, let them know it's good. And especially if the horse is after two or three swings, you know they're gonna get a little jittery. Swing until you until they're stand, you know, while they're still standing good, quit them, pet the horse. And then pretty soon you can sit there and swing all day and it's not ever gonna bother your horse.